Hello, it's Don Michelle from Boho Tarot and welcome to this look at my May journal pages. So we'll be taking a look at the pages I did in my um, daily tarot journal all throughout May. We'll also look at my self-care Sunday journal and my new goddess journal, which I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So in May, I did quite a few pages, more than I normally do because I did some extra spreads in May. So to start off with, I have of my, of course, my monthly spread with my calendar, noting my moon, special occasions that I had, um, and I had done my new moon intention, of course, the um, decks that I used in May, and my reflection at the end of the month. So this is my, my monthly layout that's pretty much the same month after month. So then we have... Um, my Sabbath spread, which I did, um, again, I only do these when they come around in season. So I have my collage here, a little bit about the season, my ritual, and the tarot spread that I did. So here we have my weekly pages, which um, are my tarot and oracle pulls that I do every day, Monday through Friday. Um, the first week I worked with the fairy tale tarot, which is the Spanish edition and the winged enchantment. If you want to um, see these decks that I, I'm going to mention here in the journal, you can actually take a look at them in my um, May Reflections video, and I, I talk about working with each of these decks throughout the month. So moving into the next week, I worked with the Moonchild and the Sacred Creators Oracle. And then this spread was a deck that I did. Um, my Roots and Wings Oracle deck came in, which was a deck that I was really excited about and I've mentioned multiple times already on my channel, even though I just got it at the beginning of the month. Um, it came with this great spread. This is not the card, um, the actual card. It's a copy of it. So I printed this off and this was a little note that came um, from the deck creator, which I thought was really beautiful. Printout of the um, title of the deck. There was a quote in the little guide pamphlet a little bit about the deck, which again was in the pamphlet. And then I did um, this spread and noted my reflections here. So this is just one of the ways that I like to add um, additional readings to my journal as, as things come in. Sometimes it's for special occasions and sometimes it's just, you know, I got a new deck in and I want to try the spread that came with it. So then we move back into um, my weekly pages for the next week. And I worked with the um, Paulina and the Universe Has Your Back. And then here we have um, my birthday spread that I did. And I, again, I mentioned in my reflection video that my birthday is in May, so I did a spread um, for my birthday, which I try to remember to do every year. Um, for this one, I used my, um, my beloved Llewellyn and my botanical, um, my botanical inspirations card. Um, I did my full moon in Scorpio spread. I did miss the um, new moon on the 4th, the new moon in Taurus. I, I just missed that one. Um, and so I didn't feel like going back in and adding it after the fact. So I just skipped it this time, but here's my full moon in Scorpio spread. Um, I think I've mentioned before these come from, um, Ethany, uh, her tarot by the moon, and I'll link that below. Then we move into the next week and I worked with the mesquite tarot and the roots and wings. And again, just my daily card pulls. Um, I didn't have a prompt a pull on Friday because we went out of town for a long weekend. And this was actually a page that I did somewhere right before we went out of town. So it was on Wednesday. Um, on this particular day, Wednesday was the day before we left town. I was trying to get a bunch of work finished. Um, trying to get the trailer ready. Just, you know, how it is when you're going camping and... There's just a lot to do and I was feeling really overwhelmed. So I just took a few minutes and um, I pulled a card from my um, Guardian Angel Tarot, which is actually turning out to be one of my favorite tarots. Who would have thought it? But I really love the messages in it and it's very, it's a very calming and reassuring deck. So I pulled a card and um, I got the Four of Emotion and I just uh, made a printout, I, co I copied, just made a color copy of the card and I cut it out and then I just spent some time in sort of this meditative reflection of the message of the Four of Emotions and I scrapped booked this page on here. Um, and it just says, when you're feeling overwhelmed, remember and then remember this message. 
and um, I did note the date. So this was just something that I did because I was feeling overwhelmed and I just needed a minute to just calm and recenter and kind of just take a break from all the hecticness. Um, this page I did when we got back and it was just, you know, um, something I'd seen while we were away is just take time to do what makes your soul happy. And I just thought that was a really beautiful message and I just wanted to include it in my journal. Even though it has absolutely nothing to do with tarot, um, it really does because tarot makes my soul happy. So this is just my little reminder after coming back from vacation that, you know, tarot makes my soul happy. So keep at it, even though sometimes you get overwhelmed and, and sometimes it can be a little much. So sometimes I get these, um, these moments, just these breaks in my journal that are just like, they're not readings really. They're not, um, spreads. They're just moments of calm and reflection and I really enjoy including these in my journal. Um, so then we moved into the last week in May and for um, this last week in, in May I worked with the Dreaming Way Tarot and the Roots and Wings again because you know it was new to me in May and I was just having so much fun playing with it. So that is my May journal pages for my daily tarot journal. Um, I will be working on June here um, coming up shortly. So that's my daily tarot journal. So in my self-care Sunday journal, um, I believe we had four Sundays this month. So I did um, my spread for May 5th, which was how can I cultivate balance within me today? Um, my spread for May 20, May 20, May, my spread for May 12th, which was what seeds of self-care need to be planted. And it happened to be Mother's Day. So I noted that. Then on the 19th, it was how can I practice self-gratitude today? And on the last Sunday of the month, it was what does my inner voice want me to know? So these were just this, the um, pages that I journaled for um, my self-care Sunday, and I do those every Sunday. And finally, we have a new journal that I started in May that I'm really excited about, and this is my goddess journal. So this is a journal that I created. So this front here, it did look like this. It had the, um, the, the polka dots here, which I mean is okay, I don't mind, but I really wanted to add um, just some style and some texture and some layer to, um, to my book and a few notations um, about you know, the goddess and the work that I tend and hope to do with this book. So I have just a note about, um, you know, the goddess tradition, and this is just a cut out from a book and then, um, a quote that I found. And so these are just scrapbook pages right into the front. And then again, some more scrapbooking that I did. This was actually from a, an old book on goddesses that I found. Um, that I'll be using for journaling. And then to start with in May, um, so the first goddess that I decided to work with in May, or I didn't really decide, I was shuffling my deck and I was asking who would like to come and work with me today and Tara flew out of the deck. So I took that as a sign of Tara wanted to come and hang out with me this month. Um, so I just scrapbooked this um, first page, which is kind of, I, I feel is kind of like a dedication page, a dedication to Tara. Um, I noted a little bit about what was written in, um, this is from the Goddess Oracle. So I noted some that was written in there. Um, I found this little image, just, you know, some scrapbooking. It's like a dedication page to Tara for the next, you know, little bit that I was working with her. Um, and here I have just some information that I found, um, some research that I did on Tara and um, kind of her story and her background and that kind of thing. And that's just some research that I put in there. This is not, I don't intend this to be a really in-depth, deep dive of the goddesses. This is more of my get to know the goddesses and then maybe decide if there's some that I want to really dig in deeper. But for this, for this um, start, I just wanted to really spend some time getting to know them. So this was the um, last page. I didn't have a ton of time in, in May to work with Tara as much as I really wanted to, but um, I'm hoping to, to have more time in the next month. So this whole section back here is just my reflections of um, from the month of spending time with Tara. And then this is a little, like, little booklet that I made to just slip in here. And this was um, a messages from Tara spread that I did. And I wrote my, um, what the messages were in here in this little booklet. 
and then I have just information about the the spread and the um, cards I got and the decks I used and so this just I did this as a separate pullout just so that I can take this out and spend some time um, reading back through these messages and sit with um, Tara's card and um, really sink into those messages so this has been um, a really fabulous process and I've really enjoyed um, getting to know of uh, this first goddess and I'm really looking forward to continuing this practice and working with a goddess every month. So that is my new goddess journal. So there you have just a quick peek at my journal pages from May. I hope you enjoyed checking them out and will join me again soon for more creative tarot for an inspired life.